sad, sad, sad story. The baby was the number one streaming artist until about a couple weeks ago. He took a nasty spill on stage and said some, uh, said some wild stuff about the LBGTQ community uh, during a concert in Florida. Uh, now, you know I go hard in the paint, but even I saw that shit and was like, God damn the baby. Ooh, he pushed the button, didn't he? He pushed the button, punched the LBGTQ community right in the AIDS. Can't do that. Can't do that. But I do believe, and I'll, and I'll make this point later, that, that the kid made a, a very egregious mistake. I will acknowledge that. But, you know, a lot of the LBGTQ community doesn't know the baby's history. He's a wild guy. He once shot a nigga and killed him in Walmart. Oh, this is true. Google it. The baby shot and killed a nigga in Walmart in North Carolina. Nothing bad happened to his career. <laughs> Do you see where I'm going with this? <laughs> in our country, you can shoot and kill a nigga, but you better not hurt a gay person's feelings. And this is precisely the disparity that I wish to discuss. I have a question for the audience. And this is a real question, I'm not joking around. Is it possible that a gay person can be racist? Do you really think so? Of course it's possible. Look at Mike Pence. Ooh, I'm guessing, but I bet you he's gay. And he's not Pride Parade gay either. He's, he's sad gay. Feel bad for him. He looks like one of them gays that prays about it. <laughs> Jesus, please take these dirty feelings out of my heart. <laughs> please, Jesus, make these buttholes ugly to me. I want to keep on tasting these dicks. You guys are confusing the emotions. You think I hate gay people, and what you're really seeing is that I am jealous of gay people. Oh, I'm jealous. I'm not the only black person that feels this way. We blacks, we look at the gay community, and we go, God damn it, look how well that movement is going. Look how 